This is my friend Kimball. He loves bees. He majored in bees at college. I went to his garage to help him harvest honey and to learn everything that he knows about the amazing bee. So yeah, I took the bees off and brought them up here to my garage. I used a leaf blower and blew them <laughs> off. Are you serious? Uh -huh. I used a chemical here. called Bego. It stinks really bad, but it forces the bees out of the hive and they just take the frames. But I used my bee brush right here and I blew it and then you just kind of gently brush the bees off. And then this is your uncapping knife and it looks like it started to warm up a little bit. It's uh, hot. It's hot. They said beeswax melts at 149 degrees. These are called cappings. The honey's capped over. If you don't uncap it, it won't come out either. So this is the time consuming part of it. This is pure beeswax that's coming off. And these there, those are baby bees. Huh? Those are brood. See the difference in the capping? Yeah. Those are bees that are gonna hatch out. There's bees in them. Oh, See yeah, the larva. So I'll just leave them capped. Uh huh. This is called a frame, and there's ten of them in a box. Um, two stands, and then you put several boxes on the top. For how much it will you get out of that? Depends. Um, hopefully a gallon or so. Then I just take it over here and stick it in there. I'll put four or four in. And then what are the bees going to do all winter? Do they have um, I leave some for them, honey. But they stay in a cluster, they don't per se hibernate because they still have to fly out. That's how they go to the bathroom in a flight. So even in the winter and that they have to fly out to the bathroom. These go to the bathroom in flight. Bees are amazing. See it start to come out. In hot days, does it melt down and warm? No, they have what they call air conditioning bees that fan their, but it can get hot. You mean there's bees, their job is uh -huh. just to flap fan their, wings. their wings? And they have what they call an undertaker bee. If a bee dies, they'll pick it up, take it out, and drop it in the weeds. Bees are amazing! Yes. And it comes out faster. If you did this on a very cold day, that honey would not be coming out. How long do a, does a bee live for? It varies. They can work themselves to death. They can live from two to seven days in the summer, and they can live all winter long too. Do you know what kind of bees you have? Um, I think they're Carlo Italians. They're Italians. It's me, Mario! I like the Cornelian. They're a little calmer bee. The Italian are a little bit more aggressive. They're like a regular bee, but they're the Rottweiler. What's this you're pouring it into? Um, strainer. So I have these two filters here, and then I have one down in. So I filter it three times. How many times have you been stung? The whole time I've probably been stung about five times as well. But I put all the gear on and everything. So. In 20 years, yeah. just five times? Yeah. That's not bad. <laughs> like you said, I don't want to get stung. Does oh, it there you go. you? Yeah. Really? It hurts. <laughs> it hurts. This foundation is a little bit different. It's a plastic one. See how that's part right there. What are the other ones made out of? Um, beeswax. And then the bees just 
just build on top of this, just build out? Uh-huh. Yes, and that's what we put on there to force the bees to make a more efficient product. That's amazing. Look at how perfectly they build it on top of that frame. These are amazing. From the taste, what do you think the bees got into? Um, they like dandelion. That's one of their favorites. 